Hello, Sylvie Dow here, and it's Thursday morning, he'll repeat, so I just wanted to give you a couple things to think about um, when, next time you're climbing your hill. So first thing is changing your gears on the hill. Uh, no, actually first thing is how you approach your hill is, I feel like my new sunglasses, anyone, anyone? Uh, they look a little big, but anyways. Um, so how you approach your hill is the first thing to think about, so remember, changing into the small ring before you get on the hill, not on the hill. That's number one. Number two, when you're gearing, remember when you're changing your gears on the hill, um, remember to push from 12 to three or say like one to four on your pedal. So you lurch your bike forward, change pedal through. So push, change, pedal through, push, change, pedal through. That's for your changing your gears. And then next one is, um, I'm gonna talk about seated climbs. So everything, skills for hills is like you get the skill down and then you apply speed. So that's how you get faster. So you get the skill, then you start applying the speed when your fitness starts getting stronger right when you start getting fitter so here's the thing so seated climb so do your hill de de decide what your hill is going to look like so maybe that's number three so whether you're going to do the full hill half the hill quarter of the hill whatever your fitness level um allots you is what you're going to do so say you're just like first time uh beginner hill climber don't go to the top of the hill you're going to be spent Go to half the hill or the quarter of the hill and then work your way up. So maybe you go quarter of the hill, half the hill, full hill by the end of the summer. Okay, so number three is determine when, like what your hill is going to look like. How long is it going to be? Because, you know, some people are like, well, you have to do the whole hill. No, you just have to do a hill repeat and practice some skills on it. Next is, so try seated climbs, small ring, right? Small ring in the front. Um, and then try standing. Now I know standing for a lot of people, it's a, a big quad burner. They've never done it, but trust me, um, it's just like doing squats. You have to work at it a little bit at a time. So working on a standing so ultimately you do sometimes have to add a gear to stand up and have enough resistance on your pedals okay so that's number four your you know your um your uh, seated climb number five seated and standing number five switch up the gears so seated climb small ring standing climb small ring, stand, seated climb big ring, standing climb big ring. It's only going to make you stronger. And then number five is smoothing out your pedal stroke. So I was like, what is that? Because, so you understand like everybody's like, you got 12, three, six, nine, a clock, right? and our pedal stroke is a clockwise motion. So we tend to go from 12 to six, 12, six, 12, six, 12. And at the bottom, six is where everybody rests and then back up to 12, rest up, rest up. Now, if you were to just picture this, for those who are visual, Put a pedal on, put a pencil on your pedal. What kind of circle would you get? Would it be oval or would it be round? Now, thinking about that, I want you to kick your feet forward and power down, sweep, pull up. Kick, sweep, power, sweep, pull up. It's the four quadrants of the pedal stroke. Now, I teach a lot of that in my winter training program. Basically, Winter training off season is dedicated to getting these skills down that you can't do outside, but you can practice them to no end inside and then working on your endurance base and adding. And then once you got all of that down, 
you just add speed. Speed and power. So remember the base, you got to work on that foundation of the skills. Hills is a big one. You apply everything everywhere else and then you just get faster at it. So with that, take those little tips and um, I'm sorry that I uh, didn't see you on the hills, but here's, I just w wanted to give you something to think about uh, next time you're out doing hill repeats or you're um, on a hill or on a ride. So with that, have an amazing day. I am off on vacation um, for a week. We have one very last hill repeat session at the end of August, the dates above. I hope you can make it out. Make it a little bit longer. We'll do 90 minutes, um, allot it, book it in, and I'll see you there. Take care.